Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. So I am on the academy.uipath.com. I'll go to certification and here is the UiPath Professional Developer Associate certification. I'm going to click on this one, exam description document. Now let me scroll down. So here if you see, we have covered business knowledge, platform knowledge. Now we are in, in the studio interface. We have to cover this topic and learn studio interface. For this, I'll go to learning plans. And here, let me scroll down. So here you would find automation developer associate training. Now here click on learning plan curriculum and here you would find build your first process with studio. Okay. This is the course you need to go through build your first process with studio. So let me open that. Okay. Click on start learning now. Once you see this page, here you have something called Exploring UiPath Studios Interface. This is very important. Okay. This is the topic you need to go with. Exploring UiPath Studios Interface and the entire course of, you know, entire content of course. Now, here what I will do, you need to go through this particular video. In this video, they have shown different options for you to get acquainted with the UiPath Studio interface. What is a backstage view? What is a tool settings, debug panel? Lot of things are there. Okay. And there's also a video transcript for you to study in case, you know, if you're okay with the video, it's good. If not, you can also go with the video transcript just to understand everything once again. Okay. And I want you to open the UiPath Studio and try out couple of things. Once you are done with this, I'm going to present couple of questions now. And I would like to see how many of you are getting all the questions right. So you have to comment your answers for each questions in the video comment section. So let's get started. I hope you are ready. We are now in the studio interface topic. Okay. Exploring your studio interface. Build your first process with studio. This is the chapter. So let's get started. Here is your first question. If a developer wishes to mass update project dependencies, how can this be done in your Apple Studio? Here are your options. Open the design ribbon and select dependencies. Open the debug ribbon and select project dependencies. Will you go to the debug ribbon, design ribbon? Open studio backstage view to go to tools and click apps and then the option D right click the project panel and select manage dependencies. So how would you go for mass update project dependencies? Now this is a difficult question. Take your time and let me know which one is the right answer. Please do comment, start commenting. Doesn't matter whether you go wrong or right. Keep try. Okay. So let me reveal the answer. The answer is C. Open Studio Backstage View. Go to Tools. Click Apps. There you would find Mass Update Project. So let me show you this. I'll go to the Backstage View. And here I'll click on Tools. I'll click on Apps. And there you see the Project Dependencies Mass Update Tool. Let's move on to the next question. A developer needs to store and maintain version control using TFS. Where can this, where can this be enabled in UiPath Studio? Here are your options. UiPath Studio Backstage View Tools and Plugins. You'll go to Tools and hit on Plugins. UiPath Studio Backstage View Settings, Apps and Extensions. Design Ribbon, Dependencies and Package. 
debug ribbon, breakpoint and variable. So which one do you think is the right answer? Take your time. Okay, so let me reveal the right answer. Please do comment which one you think is the right answer. Okay, for this, the right answer is UAPA Studio Backstage View, Tools and Plugins. So I am already in Tools. And if you hit on Plugins, here you have option for all the different control, you know, source controls like Git, SVN and DFS. So this should be the answer. Tools, Plugins, and here you would find. Let's move on to next question. A developer wants to use new templates in UAPA Studio. Where can he find this option for templates? Here are your option backstage view and tools tab, backstage view and template tab, design ribbon templates tab, debug ribbon tools tab. Okay. Now let me, you know, please do comment. Take your time. Comment your answer in the comment section of the video. Hope you have already answered that. Let me show you the right answer. The right answer is backstage view and template tab. So here I am in the backstage view of the studio. If I hit on the templates tab, here is the option where I could search for multiple different templates readily available for me to use. Anyways, you got the answer now. Let's move on to the next question. How can a developer and a custom feed in UiPath Studio for managing activity packages. Add a custom feed. Okay, how can a developer add a custom feed? <clears throat> Here are your options. Open the debug ribbon. Click on manage source and add the feed URL. Use the backstage view, settings, manage sources and uh, sources. Add the feed under user defined package sources and click save. Okay, backstage view settings manage sources or else you have to go to use the backstage view to modify the ui path settings file directory use the backstage view settings activity package add the feed under user defined and save details okay so these are the couple of options created so these are the option let me know which one you think is the right answer take your time okay let me reveal the right answer is b Backstage view, settings, manage sources. So I am in the backstage view. I'll go to settings. And here there is something called manage sources. And here there is something called user defined package sources. So if you remember manage sources settings, right there you find the user defined package sources. And here you can add your own custom feed. Okay, by hitting on the plus sign and then provide the name of the package, new get package and your source where you have it, add it. Okay, that's how you'll be using it. So you got this answer. Let's move on to a couple of other questions. Which debugging feature in UiPath Studio allows you to debug activities one at a time and highlights the activity before it's executed? So here it is talking about the debugging feature one at a time. Which one? So these are your options. Step out, step over, step into, slow step. Which one is the right answer? Okay, please quickly comment your answer in the comment section. Let me reveal the answer is step in two. Okay, pretty simple one. In UiPath Studio, which debugging feature is used to exit from the current container and pause execution at the container level? So all these things are covered in that video. Okay, pause execution at the container level. So step in two, focus execution point, step over, and step out which one you think is the right answer quickly comment here i have highlighted pause execution at the container level it will pause okay is used to exit from the current container it'll exit and pause so which one okay so let me reveal the right answer it is step out you are already in you are stepping out of the container so it is called step out now here is the another question which debugging feature in uip studio allows you to advance to the next activity without expanding the current container inside the container whatever the activities are there it will go to that activity without expanding the container thus highlighting containers like sequence but not opening them so what is the right answer step into focus execution point step over step out okay so let me reveal the right answer is step over i hope you enjoyed all the questions 
and many of you must have got the answers right if not the topic that i have recommended in the beginning you must watch it again and go through the video transcript so that you will get all this answers there thank you guys for watching let's meet once again in the next video